Dats Nuts and welcome to Dats Review Channel. In this video I'm reviewing the Glendurrant Darts from Arrows. This is the Duzzer Series 2 World Champion model. Obviously Glendurrant has won the World Championships on the BDO twice now. So well done Glen. And these are the 24 gram version and they're also available in 22 and 26 grams and the 90% tungsten and the retail for £34.95 so let's check them out. So the darts come in a slimline package and obviously it's got a picture of Glen Durant on the front with his World Championship trophy and inside you've got a hard plastic case and the darts are fitted into a point protector and you've got a set of the super grip stems they look to be medium and you've got the Glen Durant pear shaped flights the darts are fitted with quite a short black coated point and it's the classic straight barrel style much like the first one but uh, slightly different in the grips got a very uh, small taper to the nose and it's got a mix of thin rings and grooves and then slightly wider rings and a smooth section just before you get to the rear and then on the very end you've got some thin rings and grooves and the white sections there look to be enamel paint and the red looks to be like a PVD or titanium nitride cotton but on the front section there it's got quite a nice level of grip probably high medium and even them little thin sections are fairly nice grip so overall I'd probably call it a high medium grip uh, then you've got your super grip stems and the pear shaped dozer flights The dad's fit with a 26mm black coated point, there's a tapered bull nose which is a smooth section of 2.9mm, then you've got a ring and a groove of 2mm, then you've got a section of very thin rings and grooves of 4.4mm, and then a wide section of wide grooves and rings of 15.2mm, and then more of the narrow rings and grooves of 6.5mm, and then you've got a mostly smooth section except for the two white grooves that's 12 millimeters and then you've got more of the narrow rings and grooves of 5.5 millimeters and then a small section at the end of 1.5 millimeters length is 50 millimeters and width is 6.6 .6 millimeters that is 24.11 grams 24.11 grams again and 24.11 so perfectly match weighted and the full setup is 25.81 grams with nothing attached the balance is towards the front of the barrel and with the supplied setup it's very slightly behind the center point and this is the balance with medium in between short extra short stems and standard flights Smooth and 
slightly chunky feel to the barrel, which I don't mind. And nice level of grip there, classic ring grip style. So I'll try around the middle now, um, kind of where that second section of thin rings and grooves is. There's a little bit better balance there, but a little bit more awkward for me to throw. Let's see if I can get the end of it. It's a nice looking dart though. The straight barrel that is to suit any style of grip. So I'm going to try the front air, uh, the rear grip now. So I'm kind of mostly on that smooth part on the rear, but just a little bit on the rings behind. It's not quite as grippy there as. Mostly on that smooth part. But it's still flying quite smooth though, which is surprising because I'm not used to from the rear and also I'm not used to the pear shaped flight, so I thought it would be spinning and fishtailing all over. the Harrow's Dozer 2 darts, um, another very nice looking dart and just your classic straight barrel ring grip style but very nicely done. A nice level of grip at the front for front grippers but you've got your grip around the middle and on the rear there's only that smooth section which if you're gripping around there not so grippy but um, quite nicely uh, balanced and flying quite smooth for me so like I said I was a bit surprised because I don't know me get on with pear shaped flights so obviously I'll play with them a bit longer and I'll report back on the form uh, what, what I get on with and any finds or anything but I don't really see anything wrong with them it's just a classic good all rounder dart for any style of grip I would imagine so that's the end of the review thanks for watching